Right, it's mailbag time. Got a bunch of stuff here. This is a special box from another YouTuber. Ian Scott Johnson sent me this. I don't know what's in it yet. It's a surprise. It's almost worrying, actually. We'll open that last. All right, see what's in here. Dip an down below for things which I can look to. Oh, there's a lot of these. What is this thing? Didn't all the same. Okay. I think I know what this is. Double checking. Right, chip marker's been lasered off, so I don't tell you what's actually on the board. Yeah, DC DC step down. That's what's got marks on the back there. And that's what's on the front. And you can see that chip there's been lasered off. Don't want you to know what the chip is. I think it's the TP5100, but never mind. That capacitor's looking a bit weird. See that in the light? That top surface is looking a bit interesting. Just that corner. Hmm. That might be a bad cap, we'll see. I think this is a lithium charging device, so you put power on one side and it charges up lithium cells. And I think it is configurable for current with these jumpers. I think it was those ones there, those two resistors. If this is what I think it is. Oh, it could just be a 9 volt charging cell, I don't know. I, I don't remember. There's a link there for the LED, disable that. I'll put a link in down below, follow the link, find out what it is. Even though I'm not 100% sure, I've been buying three different things recently. I'm pretty sure it's a TP5100 device, which is a lithium charger. You guys are going to get sick of seeing these things. These are some more lower modules. These are 43 T30Ds. And all the same. And the same. And the same. Okay, so I've got loads of these things now. And these are basically a UART adapter. So you can put a UART on one side and it converts it to a radio signal. And you have another unit on the other side. Gets a radio signal, converts it back to UART. Really great for doing communication projects for microcontrollers and stuff like that. Really good. Yeah, I've got a selection of them now. I've got these because I was going to use this frequency. Since I purchased these, I've actually tried them out and had some problems with ranging and things like that. So I was getting interference issues. So I'm actually not going to use this frequency now because in my situation, it wasn't reliable enough for the purpose I needed for. I've got these 433s. I probably won't be using them, at least not for the thing I actually bought them for. The 868 ones are working much better for me. TFT display. I'll actually open one. I'll try and open one. These are one of my favourite displays. So it's a TFT touchscreen. So it uses SPI through this header over here. You've also got an SD card here, which you can connect to with these connections. It doesn't use these ones, it uses these ones. These are separate. So you don't actually have to use that. There's a converter chip there which does with the adaption and uh, it's got a little voltage rig and stuff built on the board so you can use this on my controllers using the SPI but it's got touch connections over here and display connections over here and I've actually designed boards which just plug this into it just, this just plugs in as, as one piece and it's a nice convenient screen to use and it's got touch you have to do a calibration to touch with the microcontroller or whatever you use but then you've got a touch screen and it's really good for menus and it's really high definition 480 by 320 so it's pretty good for most things it's pretty much high enough it's really easy to use there's libraries out there for it and everything and I use these in a lot of my projects. So it's one of my favourite displays, it's either this or the sharp memory display, it's the other one I use. My other favourite display. But also use OLEDs as well, which are also simple to use. They could be ITC or SPI connections as well. And they have a place. I don't tend to use your stylus pens actually, sorry. Well. There's lots of different options you can use, but the only ones are easy to use, but they use more power. But they're great for night time, right? Because obviously it's an LED. Someone's going to get DDR5 in my chat here because I'm doing a live stream right now and someone said I need to get the DDR5 and I said yeah I need to be more cutting edge technology cutting edge ram stick knife cutting edge yeah I thought it was funny anyway. <laughs> even more lower modules so these ones are the 4320D these are the lower power ones these ones do 100 milliwatts and the 30Ds which I should mention before they're 1 watt modules they are power adjustable we can reduce the power down and again, same reasoning, these are what I was going to use, and then I've changed my mind. There's still be links down below. It might be good for your situation if you're just doing a little bit of data occasionally, 
just a bit of monitoring or you know whatever it is nothing too time critical these will be fine for you but in my case I needed time critical data communication and it wasn't quite suiting for me because I was getting too much interference this is a big one well So this is not new, this is used, but this is from AliExpress. And I said it was used and had scratches and stuff on it, and yeah, it certainly is. A Thunderbolt to Ethernet, Firewire, Audio, and USB 3, and it's also got a power supply, which is from this thing. It's a Belkin unit. Uh, what's it called? Thunderbolt Express Dock. So I've got this my new computer, and hopefully it will work. <laughs> It's you know obviously a used device and it was sold that way but it was still quite expensive. But then I did get a nice power supply with it. Uh, what's the power supply rate for? Five amps, twelve volt five amp. And this says twelve volt six amps on the front. Yeah okay. Hmm. And the last package which has got this really robust tape all over it, completely covering it. Every surface is covered with this really robust tape. This is from Ian Johnson, as I said before. He's another YouTuber. I'll probably chuck a link down below, or maybe up the top there, if I can. And he does a lot of very similar stuff to me, but he actually does a lot more advanced stuff than I do as well. He does some quite complex electronics and designs things, and he, like the PDVS2 Mini I see me using. He sent me that at no cost as well. He has a little gift from him, and he designs those things and sells those things. If you want one of those PDVS2 Minis, go and get one. Yeah, so he's got a YouTube channel and he repairs test gear just like I do. So if you're not familiar with him, go and check him out. You should be familiar with him. If you aren't familiar with him, where you've been living under a rock. Anyway, he sent me this and he's covered it in this tape. I think it's on purpose. Oh, 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 oh look, I've got in. Ian, I think I've, I think I managed to get past you. Hey, look at that, my round nice cutting in for a win. Might be it though. Can I get through that? Oh. I think it's trying to, I think it's why it's put this tape on it so I can't get in with my hand knife. Just to ever laugh at me. I'm gonna do it. No, okay, it's too hard. Okay, Ian, you win. Oh, you real knife. This thing weighs three and a half kilos, to give you some perspective. It's not a light box. Considering it's full of bubble wrap, that's surprising actually. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. He sent me some capacitors. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at them all. Okay, I'm gonna have to get all these out. Just a few capacitors, are you in? Just a few. <laughs> Let's do this way, because these are gonna go everywhere. I'm gonna have to get some more drawers. <laughs> Look at what. You know, I said it's another YouTuber who does a lot of stuff like me. Based on his capacitor collection, yeah, I think I'm definitely right about that. Yeah, so Ian sent me just a few capacitors here. Luckily, I do actually have some storage with this type now. I've actually set some drawers up last week for this type of capacitor. Um, I don't know why it took me so long. I used to have them just mixed in. Oh, look, we've got some reefer esque capacitors, high voltage ones. Some special one in there, actual one. Dick, dip, dip uh, ceramic caps, small poly caps. What are these ones? A mini fire, 250 volt cap. Wow. Wow. If I were to go and buy these caps, this would cost hundreds and hundreds of dollars. To give you some perspective, it's not just a lot of caps. This is 
significant money's worth of caps, which is given me. So thank you much, Ian. That's brilliant. <laughs> I'm going to kill you, but yeah, uh, I've got to try and sort these things out now. This is my like. It's going to take me a week to sort these out. Is that why you sent them to me? Because you didn't want to sort them. That could be it. <laughs> Oh uh, dear. Yeah. Just like a bag of caps here. This assortment here, various ones. Oh, that's an interesting looking one. Yeah. Polystyrenes. Oh yeah, some of these older caps, older style ones. Still be perfectly good, nothing wrong with them. Wow, there's just so much here. I've got a draw set for this type as well now. I've got a draw set for those. Although now I need to probably add some more drawers because I don't have 390 pig for it. I don't think I've got any that low value. I don't like to allocate some more drawers. Oh, look, we've got some electrolytics. Here we go. Wow, it's just so many caps. Another bag of assortment. Oh, there we go. This is nice, simple ceramics. Old school ceramics. <laughs> wow. Thanks a lot, Ian. That's brilliant. Yeah, yeah, just like. Oh, look at these ones. Wow. Just. Wow. That's, I, 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 wow, that's what I can say. It's just. That's a lot of caps. And I thought I was doing quite badly last time when I did a mail bag with lots of caps in. Mind you, you won't see that until next year. I'm going to publish that one next year. So that'll be a secret until next year. If you're watching the live stream, you would have seen it. But thanks a lot, Ian. Check out the videos down below. <laughs> Check out my other videos where I might use some caps every once in a while. <laughs> and subscribe there. Patreon supporting over there. If you want to support the channel, and help me buy test gear and stuff.